the 20th Annual NoDQ.com Year-End Awards. All right, and now we are down to our final two categories. The first category here is the most overutilized superstar of the year. So who has been overexposed, been on television too much, been pushed too strongly when they're really not suitable for being pushed in that position? So what are the names we have, Jeff? Kind of surprising to me, but we'll go ahead and read them off. Okay. Shane McMahon. Yeah. Yeah. Hangman Adam Page, which surprises me, honestly. Uh, Becky Lynch, Seth Rollins, Baron Corbin, and Roman Reigns. Well, I can see why Page is on there because he he's a relatively unknown to people outside of the indie bubble. Uh, so he okay. comes in, wins a battle royal, and all of a sudden he's number one contender for the world title. So I, I, I get that. Like People are like, who is this guy again? I guess. Um, Becky Lynch, I could see people starting to get tired of her. Same thing with Seth Rollins. And Baron Corbin, of course, people have been complaining about the entire year. And I, I don't mind Corbin that much. You know, I, I do think like he was he was not used properly in the sense that um, he was basically like the scapegoat for the bad ratings and, yep. and and everything that people think negatively of WWE. Baron Corbin tends to be the reason like, let's blame everything on Corbin. And I actually think he's done a really good job, all things considered. So I, I would not say to be honest with you. And I think Roman, you know, he's. He hasn't been world champion, which is good. You know, WWE's moved him down, although he's still really positioned as the top guy in the company. Um, I got to go with Shane for for everything that we talked about earlier. Yeah, Shane is easily the most overutilized superstar in WWE in 2019. And do you ever think when we started doing these awards 20 years ago that we would say that? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said, Shane McMahon should have been a special attraction, and it got to the point where he's on every single pay-per-view. And I think back to that feud with The Miz and how that pretty much made me not care about The Miz anymore. And yeah. Shane kept getting the best of him, and you know, just the whole best in the world thing got really drawn out. So yeah, I got to yeah. go with Shane. I was so glad for the, for the first live show I went to this year, and they were doing the intro, and Kevin Owens stopped it right right away and beat the crap out of it. I was like, yes. I'll have to hear this thing all night. Woohoo! I'm so happy. Absolutely.